It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you guys today. Do you guys know what this is? Well, you guys probably read the title, but today I'm going to be doing Jenny's makeup look from her new music video, Ice Cream. I just thought it was really cute. So I got these cherry earrings and I did my hair. I got this outfit. And I did my makeup look, so I hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. And I'll be going in with my Milani Conceal in Perfect in the shade 00AA Ivory. Her skin makeup in the music video is really light looking. I wouldn't say it's completely matte nor glowy, so I'm just going to go for like a semi glowy look and I'm actually using foundations that are like a half shade lighter than my actual skin tone to kind of achieve what she was going for. And then I'm just kind of layering if I need more coverage in certain areas. In with a concealer with a small concealer brush I'm just going to touch up some bigger acne areas with this. And while we're at it, we're gonna just be using the lighter shade concealer because this concealer is clearly a lot lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to be highlighting the tip of my nose because her nose is pointier than mine and a little bit more elongated. I'm gonna be highlighting the tip right over here as well as on the bridge. And we're just gonna blend that out. And then we're going to be powdering our face. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Ultra HD. It's a translucent shade and we're just going to be using a big fluffy brush. Just lightly tap it in to the point where it sets your face but doesn't make your face look too matte. And then before we go into anything else, um, we're going to be doing the eyebrows because I feel like eyebrows just kind of frame your face. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Duo in the shade Ash Brown to create a soft arch brow shape and I'll be right back. Alright, now I'm done with the eyebrows and this is what they look like. I just fill them in with a brow duo and then just clean it up using some concealer. So in this photo right over here, you can see that she has a bluish type of shadow and then purple, pink, and then another purple with a little bit of a glittery base in her inner corner. First, I'm going to be going in with the nude Huda palette. This is what they look like. I'm going to be going in with this shade as a base just to apply it onto my upper lid as well as my lower. Right now for the blue eyeshadow, we're going to be working from the outside inwards. So for the blue, I'm going to be going in with the Venus 2 palette. I'm just taking this bright blue over here. I'm going to be just using this smaller packing brush from Morphe. It's the M421 brush. I'm going to load the brush up and just pack it on and then we'll just blend it out later on. And Jenny is obviously known for her cat eyes, so I'm going to be locating the eyeshadows a little bit further away from where my eye actually ends. Since there is a little bit of fallout, I'm going to be just taking some loose powder and just pack it under my eyes so we can just wipe that shit off afterwards. And then once we're done with the blue, we're going to be sticking with the same brush. So I'm just going to be using the Color Switch Duo. You just simply run your brush like this and it gets rid of the shadow that you were just using. See? But then for the purple, I'm going to be going in with, the, with this other Huda palette that is called the Neon. It looks like this. I'm going to be going in with this purple right over here and just be applying it right in between the blue and up until the midpoint of your eyelid. Well, you want this to look a lot more vibrant than you would actually want it to be, so I'm just packing it on. We're just gonna wipe it once again, and then just go in with this pink. And wipe it. Then just going in with this other blending brush, I'm just gonna blend everything in now. Starting from the blue to the pink. Before and after. Now we're going to be going in with a little bit more of a glittery shade. Um, in the inner corner, I'm going to be going in with this purple and just be highlighting the inner corners. And then I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D eyeliner and just be creating a small wing. I'm going to 
be going in with the nude palette once again and just be taking the browns and the neutrals and be going into the outer third of the eye. And then time for the lashes. I normally wear these kiss lashes, but they're a little bit too dramatic for this look. So I'm going to be cutting them into smaller pieces and sectioning them off. So I have cut the lashes into like three smaller pieces and I'm just going to be applying the longest one at the end, um, the middle at the middle and the shortest one at the front, obviously. This is what it looks like. Um, it looks kind of awkward, but once we curl it and put mascara, it'll be good. Anyways, while this dries, I'm going to be working on the face. I'm going to be using the Dior Contour Palette in Universal and just be mixing these two shades to lightly contour my face. Then taking this contour brush, um, I'm just going to be taking the lighter shade only. Just be lightly contouring my nose. Like I previously mentioned about her nose shape, her nose is pointier than mine and a little bit longer. So I'm going to be just contouring a straight line down my nose and then be making like this little V right over here. I'll wipe off the bake real quick. And then with her blush, um, I found that her blush was really subtle looking. So I'm going in with this Clinique Cheek Pop in 05. Then I'm just going to be going in with this dandelion highlighter and just be highlighting the tip of my nose as well as my cheekbones just ever so lightly. Make sure you highlight the tip of it. Also Cupid's bow. And then for the lips, I'm going to be going in with the plum lip liner and just be kind of overlining my Cupid's bow to make it look a little bit more plumper. And then I'll be going in with the Dior Liquid Lipstick in 321. It's a lip tint, actually. And right on top, I'm going to be applying the Dior Lip Glow in Coral. Now back to the eyes, I'm just going to be curling it with the Shuemura Eyelash Curler and just be applying some mascara. And obviously, I'm going to be going in with a brown eyeliner and just be dotting her mole. And now I'm going to be wearing these Olin's contacts. They were kind enough to send me these contacts for free, so thank you. And today I'm going to be wearing these Scandi in light gray. So I'll be right back. So this is what the contacts look like. These are the Scandies in light gray. And now I'm going to be doing my hair and be transforming into my outfit and I'll be right back. And this is the final look! What you guys think? For the hair, I had to tie a little loop in the back with the bottom pieces because my hair was too long to make it look a little bit more shorter like hers. Um, but I think it turned out okay. Obviously, I wouldn't go out with this hairstyle just because in the back, we don't talk about it. In the music video, she had a purple top on, but I didn't have that, so I put this dress on that kind of has similar features as her top. It has like this roughly shoulder thingy going on, so I just put this on, and I just did her hair, and I got these earrings from Amazon, and I was like, why are these so expensive? Turns out they are gold. This is the final look. And I think that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to recreate this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram and I'll for sure gas you up. But um, yeah, I think that's about it for me. Um, you guys can subscribe to be a part of this little family community thing. And give it a like, um, follow me on Instagram, and you can always shoot me a DM. I reply to everyone. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck, oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say